It's not going live. There it is. Oh, it is going live. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we're live. Okay. So, uh, hello, folks who might be watching today or later. Uh, I hope you're having a beautiful Monday so far. And uh, I know with the social distancing thing and the uncertainty of how long it's going to last, we're all thinking, ah, I'm not, uh, it's hard to get moving, especially on a Monday when maybe most of us had usually go to work on Monday morning, kids often go to school on Monday morning, but now everything's off. Well, let's at least get grounded in our own selves and try to find some joy in our own beings on the mat. So put on your own music and we'll begin on our backs. Okay, so let's find a comfortable, comfortable Shavasana-ish place. We're not gonna, we're not gonna hang out here too long. Uh, we wanna get moving after all. So let's, let's, let's have it easy. Let's bring our feet to the edge of the mat. Let's lean our knees together. Let's bring our hands right onto our tummies. Yes, our favorite part of our bodies. And take a big inhale under the fingertips. Sigh out. Inhale. Big, full, delicious breath. And one more like that. Three is a big number. We like to keep our symbols. And then just come into a smooth inhale and exhale. We want to try to match the inhale with the exhale through the nose. And you want to still get the belly involved. Lift your palms with your breath. And then on the exhale, sink in. Find all your roots through your feet, through your sacrum, through your shoulders, the back ribs, back of the head, back of the arms. For now, let our first movement just be breath. Try to settle into a, a stillness. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to try to find some organic movement. There will be some familiar asana in there. But we're going to, we're going to explore our own bodies. And get the various parts of it moving. start to move a little bit. We're going to start with our hands. So let's just reach our hands up to the sky. Let's kind of wiggle our fingers. Kind of roll them if you like. Let's open and close the hands. Kind of go follow your nervous system into your hands. Be your hands for a bit. If you feel comfortable, just close your eyes. So we're just going to find some organic movement here. So now we're moving into the wrist. Make some circles. I flap the hands, and I shake the hands, and now we'll get bigger movements. Now you just start to kind of circle the arms around, maybe make some sweeps. We're just kind of finding our own movement, finding our way into our body, just with by its own little flow, find our own flow. I know it might be pushing some people out of their comfort zone. It's like, what? You choose my own movement. <laughs> yes, give yourself permission to choose your own movement right now. We'll, and just be uninhibited with it. I mean, we're all out of our comfort zone. I'm out of my comfort zone because I can't edit this. And it's all wonderful. It's all like in, in wonder as in filled with wonder. Like I wonder what's going to happen. And let our curiosity, bring our curiosity to bear. Right. Okay. Now let's just let the hands go. Where do you want to put them? Out to the side. Oh, there's one more I want to do. Let's reach up, reach up, reach up. 
So pull the shoulders off the ground. And now set the shoulders. And now give yourself a hug. Doesn't matter which uh, arms on top. Kind of pull the shoulders down. Sway the head from side to side. So we're pulling our shoulder heads down so we have room to move through our chin. Okay, and let's get the arms involved. So let's release the shoulder heads. And just as we sway the head, we'll reach with the hand, the opposite hand, just kind of rocking back and forth across the shoulder blades. What, are we still breathing? Our belly doesn't have anything impinging it, so it should still be rising like a beautiful moon off the horizon. And let's come back to center. Arms reach up. Flop them out. Big breath. And we'll cross the other arm. Yeah, other arm over the top, whichever one wasn't on top before. And we'll start with swinging the head from side to side. Maybe the ear comes all the way down. Pull the shoulders down toward the hips with our fingers. Let's play around with tucking the chin in close as we sway the head. And then coming to neutral. And let's re let's get our upper back involved. If the sound is a little off, is a little echoey today, because I didn't have enough USB ports for my microphone camera and new Ethernet cable, so I decided to sacrifice the microphone. Let's let the hammer flop out. Okay, now we're going to bring, we're going to start moving the legs. So let's lift them up to the sky. You can look at L with the body. And start to move the feet. Maybe fan out the toes and squeeze them together. Fan them out and squeeze them. And then maybe just pedal the feet, point and flex. Still with our breath. That keeps us in the here and now. Maybe circles with the ankles. Starting to feel the blood reverse of the feet. And now maybe bend the legs, do a little kicking. And then maybe big, some bigger movements. We can paddle out the feet. Now if this starts to uh, feel funky in the lower back, we can lift the hips and settle the hands underneath. That gives a little support to our sacrum. You can also roll up a towel or blanket and stick it underneath. Feels better because we are going to be moving both pretty soon. And just kind of move however you like. Let the legs come wide. Bend the knees, straighten. Just kind of find the movement. That feels good. And making a little circle, maybe. Just explore the, the joints. Move asymmetrically if you'd like. If you do have your hands underneath your legs now, it's the time to take them out. So let's bend the knees. And we're going to roll from side to side. Let's keep the upper body resting on the ground as we sway, sway, sway. I'm going to turn this way. Okay, so suddenly let's take the knees as wide as they can go. Okay. Now as we roll over, we'll let the top knee come close, as close as it'll come. And we'll roll back the other way. So roll all the way as wide as you can so the, the, the lower knee is forced to move. And then bring it over. So just, okay, the top, the right knee's going, left knee just follows. Okay. And then maybe we straighten the legs. Can we do this with straight legs? Just see. Okay, that feels pretty good. Okay, we start to loosen things up. So let's just kind of. Find some movement with your legs, however you want to move them. You want to move them wide, you want to 
across them. I just feel like you have a minute to just kind of move your legs around. Explore movement with your legs. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You're not going to have any expectations. I don't even have any expectations right now. I'm just messing around. Let's mess around together. <laughs> long as you're breathing and just bringing yourself into the different parts of your body being inside being on the computer we tend to escape into our heads let's escape into our legs right now play Sometimes we forget, we, we, we get all these prescribed movements and we forget how to explore our own bodies because really yoga has so many variations in the poses is because people don't always have the same bodies, right? We Not one size fits all. We can give guidance, we can give cautions. But at times when you need to just free flow. All right, let's get the arms involved. How do you want to move your arms now? Let yourself be however you want to move. On your back, though. Just stay on your back. You can roll side to side, but let's stay supine for now. We'll have other chances to move in different ways in different uh, from different starting points. And as you're ready, as you finish your little flow, let's come straight on the mat. Reach up, get long, 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 long. Give yourself a big stretch, hold the breath. Inside out, melt into the ground. Okay, this is gonna look a little more, uh, a little more formal. Now that our, now that we've moved our limbs, let's uh, come into something a little from, more familiar. So we're gonna use do a figure four with the right ankle crossed over the left knee. And we're going to lower the heel to hover. And exhale to come in. And now lower the heel. And exhale to come in. Okay, let's, this time let's uh, bend the knee in on the exhale. Inhale up. If hovering is too much, you can just settle the heel. And okay, now we're going to add the arms. So. Let's, let's have our figure four. Settle the heel for now while we set up. Palms together. Reach far, far, far away from you. Thumb, just the thumbs, settle on the ground. Okay, inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to curl it all in so the elbows come to the knee. Right elbow to the knee, left elbow to the ankle. Head lifts. If that's okay, drop the navel in on the exhale. And slow it down. Drop into the sensation in the left hip joint. Into the sensation on the outer right hip. The sensation in the core as we start to fire up there. Are we at nine? I hope we're at nine. Uh, moon, Monday, Moon Day. I'm going to hang out with the moon symbolism, so nine is a good number. Okay, so keep our figure four. Let's snuggle the left heel close to the hip, close to the bum. And we're just going to drop, keep the, the right knee tending toward the bottom of the mat. And we're just going to drop the left knee out to the side. So we're in a twist. So we're, we're resting on the left bum, okay, both shoulders on the ground. And let's reach, where, let's reach away from the hips with our hands, so kind of at an angle. Sway the head from side to side. And maybe we'll, let's push our hips toward the left. So we start to, like we're giving ourselves a nice stretch. And then reach away with the fingers. If this is too much, you can just stack the knees, but just press the hips, press the hips away from the shoulders. 
And come on back. Let's release legs. Give them a little shake. Pedal them out. Move them in any way you want to move. Shake, shake, shake. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Shake up the hands. Okay. Legs up to the sky. Let's cross the left ankle over the right knee. And we have our figure four. And let's lower down on the inhale. And lift up on the exhale. Again, support for the sacrum on a blanket or on your hands. Let's test out the different places you can put your hands. Cactus, overhead. Okay, we're going to end the bend down. Okay, left knee wide. Dive into your hip joints. Largest joint in the body. We're going to give it a lot of extra love. And then also waking up our core. Okay, we're going to get our hands involved. So let's extend long. Let's settle the heel for now. Palms together. Reach up. Give yourself a nice huge stretch. Drink in a breath. On the exhale, curl in. Right elbow to the left ankle. Left elbow to the left knee. Full extension. Press out with the heel. Reach long with the arms. Three. <laughs> I undercut. I think it's four, but let's go. Let's say this is four. Better to have more core firing up than less, as I always say. With my new Ethernet cable, I hope that uh, we're not you're not getting any as much latency issues as we had in the earlier ones. My next uh, delivery is going to be uh, a cable that will allow my my real camera and not my not my computer camera. So that way, I also get my mic as well working. Uh, this I think we're well past nine at this point, but we're loving it. So we're just gonna take one more breath, one more exhale. And settle the foot on the ground. Let's bring the arms to cactus arms. And we're going to draw, scoop the right heel in toward the right bum and slide over into a pigeon knee twist. The left knee is tending toward the sky. Breathe into the sensation of how this uh, twisted variation is. And if there's any pain or anything shooting or electric happening, just stack the knees. You're okay here. Maybe look away from the knees, or just sway the head from side to side. Okay, now we're going to take these hands and reach them toward the top corner of the mat, opposite the hips. And as we do so, maybe we slide the hips that way, opposite direction. And this could be done with stacked knees. Find the, find the space. Try to bring that. So the, in this one, the left shoulder is slightly lifted, and that's fine. And let's roll on back to center. Release the leg. Move through the legs and arms. Cross at the ankles. We're going to come on, come on up to seating, sitting. So let's take a hold of our feet. Let's rock and roll. Take your time here. Balance on the sit bones on the inhale if you can. Exhale, balance on the shoulder blades if you can. <laughs> if, you, if you roll back, that's okay. All right. Look. Next one, let's come on up. We're in, we're in seating. We're in seated position. Let's bring our feet to butterfly. So that nice and tall inhale. As we exhale, we're going to drop back onto our tailbone. Pull the navel in strongly. Pull the shoulders. Tuck the chin. Inhale. Lift the heart. Look up. And crawl it back on the exhale. Scoop yourself forward and up. And come back by leading with the heart. Then curl in. Tuck the chin. Like Come back. Make like a little... And reverse it. Mm. 
And tuck the chin. Roll on down. And let the head come toward the feet. Let's walk the hands out as far as they'll go. And let's sway the chin to from shoulder to shoulder. Keep the crown of the head heavy. So we're just our chin is actually hitting in toward the armpits. But you might be up here. You're hitting shoulder, so keep the head heavy. All right, let's walk back a little bit. I'm just going to sway from side to side. Dropping one shoulder and then the other shoulder, feeling how that affects the stretch in the hips. Okay, even if you're down here, you can still affect that sway. Let's come back to center. As we inhale, we'll stack the spine, roll it on up. Come on up to Sukhasana. So remember which leg is in front because we're going to switch. So let's sit up nice and tall. Let's inhale, rise. And exhale, twist. Maybe we coil our hands all the way around. You only, so the inhale is up and the exhale is twist. So wherever you want to place your hands, just kind of test it out. Maybe you have one hand in front, one hand in back. Maybe you have one hand on the knee and the other tented behind the spine. Maybe you curl the hands around and take opposite hands to opposite hip bones. Just kind of play around with it. Okay, next time we come over to the left side, we're going to stay. So find your twist. Use the leg as a lever if you like. Use the curl the left hand around behind you, get the right side if you like. And look to the back. Inhale, big tall spine. And let's check out what, what we can do with our neck here. Just look back over the right shoulder. And back over the left shoulder. Trying to keep the chin level to the ground and also being mindful that we're not <laughs> scooping. We're just pivoting on our cervical spine. All right. Now keep the right hand where it is. Sweep up with the left. Now we're going to bend forward. We're, we're going to, uh, yeah, come off the knee and crawl this way with the right hand and crawl straight ahead with the left hand. Crawl, crawl, crawl the right hand strongly so that the Right shoulder comes under us. And maybe settle the head on the ground. So it's kind of like a butterfly thread the needle. Not butterfly, Sukhasana thread the needle. And maybe we look under this uh, left arm at our right finger. Maybe we're up here doing that. That's fine. <laughs> Trying to lift the left shoulder over the right. And come on up Roll the shoulders out. Slop like a ragdoll. A ragdoll uh, lead with the elbows. A ragdoll uh, shoulder roll. Okay, let's switch the legs. And inhale to rise. Exhale to twist. Experience the transition because we tend to focus on the asana. And vinyasa asks us to be mindful in the transitions as well. So just explore the sensation of the movement. Inhaling up and exhaling around. Find your twist to the right. Check out maybe, oh, can I get my thigh this time? Maybe I can. Doesn't matter either way. Find the deliciousness in the twist. Breathe all the way into the hips. Hmm. And let's explore the movement of the head. So exhale back over the left shoulder. Inhale back over the right. Uh, let's settle looking back. 
extra breath here. And on our next inhale, we'll rise. We'll keep the left hand where it is. Rise up with the right. We're gonna slide these this left these left fingers over to the right side as we reach the right hand forward. Settle the head underneath the the right uh, tricep. Reach the sit bones for the ground, even if they're lifted a little bit. That's okay. find yourself pretty high we still want to get kind of a shoulder stack so if we can rest on the elbow and reach forward with the right hand that, that would get that would work a shoulder stack as well mm. lean into your left shoulder create the space under the shoulder blade and we'll walk it in Roll the shoulders again. Get our little ragdoll shoulders, ragdoll elbows. Sway the head, ear to shoulder. Okay, let's come on up to uh, we're at downward dog. Let's get our hands nice and wide. Let's get our feet tucked. Get our bodies long. Mm -hmm. Okay. On our inhale, we're going to roll it out. So up on the toes, lift the bum, then bring, unroll the spine, bringing the shoulders over the wrist. Exhale straight back. And now we'll roll that out. Exhale straight back. And we're going to play with this little cycle that we got going. Maybe we bend the knees as we push back. So we'll add the knee bend. Roll that out of the plank. And exhale, push back through the knees and up as the knees straighten, we roll again. So it becomes a beautiful flowing cycle. Tuck the chin as we roll out, the chin lifts. Okay, now maybe we get the elbows involved too. Let's kind of see how that works. As I push back, I bend the elbows back. Bend knees and elbows as we push back. Play around with it. Rippling all the way through the spine. <laughs> okay, let's slow down our cycles. Back to just the knees bending. And let's come to down dog. <sighs> we want you to pedal the feet. Sway the hips. And we're gonna walk to standing. So let's walk, or if you're feeling, if you're feeling hoppy, you can hop. We're coming to face you. Feet hip width apart. Let's hang heavy over the legs. Shake out the arms. Shake out the head. <laughs> Sway the upper body. See how that feels to the hips, the hamstrings, the lower back. You want to encourage the hip crease. I'm a big fan of hip crease bending and not spine bending. I got my toes, but your spine, your poor little spine. This is not how we want to get to our toes. This is how we want to get to our toes. Okay, so bend the knees a lot to get that. Shift the weight from foot to foot. Explore. Soften the knees even more, draw the navel up. Let's roll on up. Hands to the, the hands together. As we exhale, bend the knees, lead with the elbows and the heart. Inhale, rise. And exhale. Roll it up. Exhale, swan dive with the heart. Curling through the spine like a cat. And extending through the spine like we do in our cow. Exhaling as we go down. And on our next exhale, hands to heart center. Hmm. 
Okay, keep our feet about hip distance apart. We're going to add a, a mudra to the to the this flow that we just did. So let's uh, bring our hands behind our back, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart, lead with the heart, straighten the leg. Okay, this time we're going to inhale with a flat back, press this forward, bend the knees, lift the chin, straighten the legs. Do the same thing, bend the knees, sweep it up, and sweep it down, straighten the legs. Bend the knees, sweep. Mm. Let's lower the hands to the sacrum, release the arms to the ground. We do a few little swims down here. So we're going to bend the left knee, sweep the right hand up and back, roll and look up. Exhale, straighten both legs. Okay, blocks here are pretty handy, or you can hold on to your shin. Sweep the left my hand back as we bend the right knee so we can look up at our right hand. And exhale, switch sides, swimming. Big arm circles. Maybe track the course of the hand with your gaze. Our inhale brings us to 12 o'clock. Our exhale brings us back into a fold. Uttanasana. Soften the knee, tuck the navel in as we roll on up to standing. Shoulder rolls, release them. Same thing as we did on the ground, elbows flop, flop the hands. I do a lot of rolling back and not so much rolling forward because of the computer, we're here. <laughs> we roll forward automatically. We, we're, we're very well, we're very good at rolling forward with our shoulders. Don't need some extra help. Okay, step out a little bit wider than that with a part. I'm just kind of ah, let the feet be soft. I'm just going to ragdoll side to side. Let the head go. That feels good. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you can keep it more or less neutral. Just kind of feel how the feet want to go. I want to say, oh, point your toe. No, you don't have to. If, you're, if your body feels good just swaying without the feet moving, then hang it. You can do it here. Tick tock. Yeah, slow it down. Let's make sure the core is still engaged. And then we'll come over to the right side and we'll stay. So we get heavy through that. Feel that deliciousness here in the, in the cervical spine, but also in the side ribs and the side waist. Get this right hand so heavy. It's just it's reaching for the right heel. Let's make sure our navel is working in and up so we're not crunching into the lower back. If you want to find the, the yumminess on the side neck, just gently move the chin, pull it in a little bit until you find the, the, the sensation of stretch. Pull the left shoulder away that, that way. And come on, let's take a few little sway. We'll sway our way into the other side. And over. Okay. Core is engaged, so we're nice and strong through the trunk. This hand is all heavy, 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 heavy. Head, we're finding the cervical spine, the lateral bend in the cervical spine. So let's breathe into that space too. Take this right shoulder, pull the right fingers to the opposite corner of the mat or opposite side. And just relax the hand once you've created that space. And breathe into the into all the various little engagements of muscles and muscle fibers. And back to center. Let's just give ourselves a little coat sleeves twist. Let's be gentle with the head, turning it from side to side. Let's lead our twists with our chin. And let's do a little counter stretch to the bench. So it's kind of mm, 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 mm. okay. 
you might want to step to the side of the mat because we're going to be doing a, a little bit of side angle or wide legged pose. But we're to get there, we're going to have a little fun. So we're going to inhale. It's going to come into three. One hand, right hand up, right knee up. And we'll lower down. <laughs> inhale up. Just let the toe tap and exhale down. Just got to play with the balance. Try to get the knee as externally rotated as you can. So we're not straight ahead. We're out to the side. And down. So let's turn the standing toe a little bit out to the side. Because we're gonna we're gonna do a big step out to the right. So we inhale up, exhale, whoosh, ah, right into side angle. So inhale up. We're not gonna be, we don't have to be formal about it. We're just gonna and down. So the toes are turned out. We want the right knee to go in the same direction as the toe. So if the toe doesn't come all the way out to the side, then don't let the knee come all the way out to the side. Keep them in line. Up and down. And down. Just move your arms however you'd like. Kind of play with the flow. All right, next time we step out, we're going to stay stepped out. Let's straighten the legs. Turn both toes out to the side. Turn the toes out, both out to the side. Reach it up. Hands come to the knees as we dive forward. Inhale all the way up. Come up onto the toes. Uh, exhale, dive in as we squat. Inhale, roll up. And uh, exhale, roll down. Okay, and well, let's turn the feet out so we can come into a side angle. Let's reach up, get space here. Try to keep that space as we reach past the knee and come into our side angle. Let's reach up with this left hand. Let's kind of do a ragdoll roll with that arm back. Okay, okay, we can go forward too. Just kind of play with that arm in the door. We're not worried about what this hand and arm looks like. We're, we're just kind of focusing on what this shoulder feels like as it rolls through its motion. So let's let's start with that. This might be where you're at, or you can do the full arm. Let's look up if that feels good for the neck. Okay, let's swing it back. Let's end with a back swing. Again, you can elbow soft it. Maybe start to get straighter. Oh, and all this work in the shoulder joint, we, we've been ignoring the, the knee here. So let's make sure the knee is coming on the little, little toe side. Oh, wow, we've been working that leg pretty hard, haven't we? It's okay. We can stay here forever because we're focused on our arm. <laughs> all right, one more. Let's, yeah, let's bring that around behind the back. Maybe we can hook the, the side. See my fingers over there? Are they? Yeah, you can see. Roll that shoulder open. Look up to the sky. Sink the hips a little more. Say hi, right quads. I love you. And let's straighten on up. Let's turn the toes inward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, the swan dive down. Oh, the right leg is feeling nice and juicy now. So here we are in our forward fold. And sway the body from side to side. See if you got that. You can even get that if you're if you if you're, even if you're here, you can still get a, a a kind of sway. So let the knees be soft in response to the movement of the upper body. So what what usually happens in my body, it might be different for yours, is that when I when I bend the right knee, my when I start to move my body to the right, the right knee bends, and when I switch directions, the left knee already starts to bend before I get there. Just see see if you can get that undulation through the spine and the hips. And then let's come to center. Let's inhale a flat back. Exhale, hands to hips. Pull shoulders away from the ears. And rise on up. <coughs> Dry throat, I promise. <laughs> okay, let's come back. Let's shake out the legs. Let's shake out the hands. Now we're going to do the same thing going the other way. So our, we gave our right leg some love. Now we get our left leg some love. So again, let's just, try, let's just test it out. Inhale, rise, both, both legs, both leg and left arm. So knee comes out to the side. Almost like we're doing ballet. Right hand can do whatever you want it to. <laughs> it, can, it can hang out. Okay, now we're gonna add the step out, okay? So inhale and exhale. Now the right arm has to play. Whoa, play. <laughs> Bringing the weight onto the right foot and swinging it down into side angle. 
We're kind of a modified sine angle because we're not we're not all the way not pointing all the way to the left yet. Exhaling the side angle, inhaling up. Left. <laughs> All right, one more. And next one will settle. And settle. So set the feet for a side angle. So right foot is pointing straight ahead, if you're oriented like I am. And the left foot is pointing straight along the top of the mat. Knee rolled out to the side. Let's settle into our side angle. Roll that right shoulder. Maybe bring the elbow, just elbow through the shoulder. Back the other way. If you want any ragdoll arms, you can. Look up toward the ceiling if you can. Make sure we're not crunched into the shoulder over here. So press actively into the elbow. Let's go all the other way. So again, we're, we're not looking at prettiness in the arm. We're looking at the sensation we're feeling in the joint. Well, how does your shoulder feel? I mean, do you still have phantoms from an old injury? I do. <laughs> 40 years old, 40 year injuries of collarbones, <laughs> both of them. And just notice how that, how that might uh, make the joint feel. And instead of being, oh, that old injury I can never get rid of. No, just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's one of the rings of, of the tree of my existence. Or those broken collarbones. And, and that's how they're manifesting now. Interesting. Curiosity. Curiosity is much better than expectation. Let's bring the right hand around the, the back. Maybe we can sneak it into the, up to the left thigh. And look up toward the sky. We check in with the hips. The left hip, if your bum, if you find your bum is kind of canting toward the back, let's pull it in because we want to keep the hips in the same line as the feet. Okay, and does our left leg feel nice and juicy now? Now we can we can come out of it. All right, let's uh, straighten the front leg. Left on now. Turn the toes in. And again, let's do our little, let's do some side bends. This time we'll use our arms. So the toes are pointed slightly in at this point. We're gonna be coming down in a minute. Arms out to a T, let's twist. So again, we can keep we can be fluid with the arms, but let's let's keep them at shoulder height. And keep breathing. <laughs> our breath is our bridge. Our bridge between inside and outside, between our little individual selves and our connection and relationship with the rest of the world, because we're all sharing the same air. We let it inhabit us, and then we send, we change it, and we send it back out. And somebody else does the same thing. All right, let's slow it down. Arms out nice and wide. We're gonna hug right over left. Give ourselves a hug. Pull the shoulders down. And we're going to lead with the elbows until we come into a forward fold. Again, heels wider than toes at this point. Crown of the head to the ground if that feels good. And check out if a sway would feel good right now. Keep the knees soft. You don't want to lock them out. Heavy through the crown of the head. Rock some of the weight onto the toes. Test that out. Shift back into the heels. Back into the toes. We're trying to keep it into the toes. Keep us pull, Keep us rolling forward. Okay, inhale. Let's get a flat back on that. Bring the arms out to the side. Exhale here. Inhale. They come all the way up. And arms out to the side. Take some sweeps. So again, the arms can bend, but they stay at shoulder height. We did right over left last time, so we're gonna do left over right this time. Give, it a, give us a hug. Inhale, let's press the hips forward, look up. Exhale, pull the shoulders away from the head and come into our forward fold. We can do 
do our, our pendulum sway with the upper body. Soften the knees a lot. Let them bend a lot if that feels good for them. We'll zoom into the center. On the next inhale, we'll come up to a flat back, unravel the arms, reach out. Make sure these knees are soft, we're not locking them out. Next inhale, we rise all the way up, press the hips, and exhale, namaste, let's jump the feet together. Shake out the feet. Okay, we did a lot of external external rotations through the hips, so let's keep them, let's keep the feet nice and close now. And we'll inhale to rise up, press the hips, exhale to sweep it down. Arms are just floppy. Now, if you want to add a little hop with this one, fly. We inhale, push the hips forward, get a back bend, look up. Exhale, do a little hop. Say hi to your downstairs neighbors. What the heck is going on up there? And next time you come down, come into a full forward fold. Inhale, the flat back. Exhale, hands to hips. Your choice to either hop back or step back into plank. If you do in plank, then let's end uh, with soft elbows. Roll forward on the toes, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Over the toes, the down dog. <sighs> Rock yourself out. Bend the knees. Drop one shoulder at a time. So bend the left knee, drop the left shoulder. Look under the right arm. Drop the right knee. Drop the right shoulder, look under the right arm, left arm. Hmm. Let's inhale the leg, the right leg straight up and back. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, sweep it back. And we're just gonna make a kind of a roll we're doing with the with the leg. Inhale up and back. You can say high on the right, on the left toe if that feels good. But we're trying to get make a big circle with the knee and step it forward. Stay up in a nice high lunge, and we come on up to a, a high lunge. Let's inhale the arms up, opposite palm to opposite elbow, lean into the upper arms. Hmm. Press into the back heel. Press into the arms <laughs> with your head. Lift the chin. And now the rise. Exhale, hands to either side of that foot. Maybe we have blocks for this one. And we're gonna inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, bend the back knee, lift the top toe. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Inhale, hop the hands forward. Exhale. We're bending the left knee, lifting the, keeping the right foot straight the whole time. Now, of course, we're going to hold here. So let's go ahead and keep this uh, variation of a ham of a pyramid stretch. Back heels lifted. Square the, the chest toward the knee, the middle of the chest toward the knee. Maybe settle the left cheek on the outside of the knee or the outside of the calf. And let's lower that foot, lower the back knee. And have to turn on this one. Both hands are inside the right leg. We're going to walk them all the way out as far as we can. Try to keep the knee close to being over the ankle. And now we're just going to explore. So the fingers are pointed toward the front, but a little, maybe a little angled. And we're just going to kind of shift the hips. So push, push back into the hips so then the right knee goes wide. And exhale and try to draw the left hip toward the ground. I see if the breath goes better the other way. So as we exhale, we push. As we inhale, we bring the try to bring the left hip really close to the mat. Maybe we look back and see the left toe back there. Okay, so check yourself. We want to get this left hand right under the left shoulder. Press in, lift up, 
and reach up to the sky. And let's do some swims, do some circles. I'm just going to lead with the elbow first, just kind of flop the hand around. And next time we flop it around, maybe we snuggle it around. See it over here? Is it over here? It's on my left hip. <laughs> and we look back at the left toe, trying to draw the top of the left thigh toward the ground. I collapsed. Let's press in. Look up. And let's circle that arm around. Walk the hands to the, to the center. And we'll sway. Lunge to hamstring. Lunge to hamstring. So inhale forward. Exhale, straighten the leg. Next time we come forward, we're going to rise on up into our, our uh, Anjani Asana. Interlace the fingers. Lean the head. Press the chest. And from here, we're going to release the hands up. And we're going to do some swims. So we're going to do forward crawl first. And reverse it. Backstroke. Our pool, all the pools are closed around here. So this is the only backstroke we're going to be getting. And that's amazing. And just fine. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, melt that right hand down as we tip over the right hip. Maybe just hand can get to the floor. Maybe you have blocks. Hmm. Let's inhale up. We're going to bring that left hand back to the left leg. Reach up like we're doing exalted warrior, except we're in a low lunge. We're in on Jenny okay. Inhale here. Exhale. Come into a twist. Kind of a Twisting side bend that we inhale, exalted, look back at the left foot, exhale, side bend twist. I'll show what that looks like from the side. Keep going. Exhaling here, inhaling here. Big movement through the arms. Okay, last time we come down here, we're going to scoot the, the right heel in and come past the ankle. We don't do that very often, but we're working to get the calf stretch. And we're going to try to rest the center of our chest on the thigh. And we're going to try to snuggle the chin close to the knee. Maybe we can get the left cheek to the outside. And my friends who, my, my more advanced friends who want to play around, if you can get both arms to the outside of the right leg, you can get both palms down as you lean, create a shelf for the right thigh. Maybe we come into a variation of side crow with the legs extended. And if you have your balance here, you can play around. You know, if you don't have your balance here, maybe you stick a bolster under your forehead. Make sure you're not putting too much weight into the head, though. Now, I'd look from this side. So we have to get the hands to outside of the leg. Got to get the elbow into the hip. And float. And play. And if your monkey mind is going, oh, but I did my phone fall. That's okay. Play until you do. <laughs> and we'll all come back into our, into our lunge. Let's scoop the, foot, the left foot forward. Or right foot forward. Step it back to down dog. You can wait in down dog, or you can take some wolf rolls. Now we're dog rolling, rocking and roll. Ah. And when we're ready, we're going to inhale the left leg up, straight up and back. Exhale to bring it in. And rise it up. Come up on the toe, roll it forward. Okay, next time we can come in, set it at the top of the mat, lower on the back knee. And we'll kind of ease ourselves into the stretch. I'm feeling good. I hope everybody else is getting their blood flowing. 
You know, it's really hard because especially if you're an outdoorsy person, and I'm a very much an outdoorsy person, being told to stay in, oh, very easy to give in to despair. That's okay. We're in this together. Okay, we're going to walk the hands out as far as we can. Wing out the knee a little bit. And we're going to roll, rock and roll the hips, sway the hips. So inhale as we lower the right hip toward the ground. Exhale as we push it back in. You feel the external rotation in the left leg. Okay, now we're going to take that right hand, make sure it's right underneath the shoulder so we can press in and lift up and start to twist as we settle the right hip close to the ground. And then we do a few press in so we're not collapsing. Let's do a few arm circles. Notice the difference in sides. Move both ways. And once you come around, you can, oh, there it is. Get that left hand across the back, close to the right hip. Maybe it touches the ground. And just keep sinking the right hip bone toward the ground. Look back at the right toes. And breathe. Breathe through the labyrinth of the body. Inhale to rise. Come on back in. Let's square ourselves up over that front leg. Take a few sways in and out of the hamstring stretch, in and out of half Hanuman, Anjani Asana. And when we're comfortable in our low lunge, we're going to climb up. Shake out the hands, particularly the right hand. <laughs> Interlace the fingers, elbows wide, lean, and the hands look up. Feel the beginning of the stretch of the right hip, front of the right hip. Okay, let's do our swim. So we're going to do our front crawl first. Enjoy the motion through the shoulders. And we'll do our backstroke. And come on back to center. We're going to come forward and scoot the heel back a little bit. So we can come past our toes with our knee. I know this is, this is one of those weird times. We don't do it very often. Don't make a habit of it. But it's okay for this intentional stretch. Keep the heel on the ground. Lift up, square the, rest the center of the chest on the knee. Okay, because you're here and your right cheek is close to the left outside left knee, you can check in with this hip. A lot of times it wants to swing out. We're going to pull it in. Pull it in line with the knee. Okay, we'll do our little, oh, I forgot a little twist. Scoot that left, scoot that the leg forward so we can rise and melt the left hand and come into our side bend. No edits. <laughs> Let this hand be floppy, heavy. And we're going to open it out to the left side. So it's an open twist, more like an exalted warrior on the, on the ground. The right hand can be on the inside of the right knee or it can rest on the calf. And now we'll do with our breath. So we exhale into this kind of Side dip and inhale into our half exalted warrior. Arms and big windmills. Oh. <laughs> and 
Okay, we'll hold a little bit here. Go three. And two. And let's sweep it back. Now we're gonna, we still gotta play in our little happy side crow. So let's uh, scoot the heel in a bit. Knees coming past. Find that rotation with the upper body across the midline. Hug the left hip in. If both hands can come to the outside of the left foot, then go ahead and do so. And we're going to lean so that we can place both hands on the ground. Our elbows are going to bend in. So the left elbow is going to hit the left hip. Right elbow is going to get the back of the side of the left knee. We're going to tuck the back toes. So now we just have our feet and hands on the ground. And this may be where you stop, and that's okay. Or we play. That face goes pretty close to the ground. But if you want to stick a bolster under there for fear factor, <laughs> feel free. Play around here. Explore the balance. Explore the movements. <laughs> and when you're ready to... To stop, come on back to center. Come on back into our Anjaniyasana. Step it back. Take a vinyasa on your way to child's pose. And when you do get to child's pose, it, your knees can be wide or close together. Let's get the sit bones right on the heels. Give the hands a little shake. They've been working. And settle all the way to the ground. Lots of options for the hands. Let's explore them all. Extend the hands extended, elbows resting. Elbows bent out to the side. Cheek or forehead to the mat. Then we can keep the elbows close to the ears and let the fingertips hang out with the cervical spine. <sighs> If you do have one cheek turned to the mat, go ahead and turn the other cheek to the mat. Settle the breath. Settle the heart rate. Okay, if you're, wherever your hands are, let's bring them to the top of the mat. Come up to hands and knees. Let's bring the knees under the hips. Now we're going to lower ourselves onto the ground. I don't know if I'm going to get cut off or not. Uh, okay, we're fine. And we're just going to roll ourselves up into seal. Pull ourselves up. We can keep them feet, not hip width apart. I can't get too up. I'm going to be on the windowsill here. Hands are at the top corners of the mat as we lead with the heart. Lower down. Hands are spread wide. You can't really see that from there. I can get on the side. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hold here for a minute. Big belly breaths. Pull the shoulders away from the head. <sighs> pubic bone is pressing in. Okay, so not the tummy, pubic bone. Okay, reaching back strongly with the feet. Look back over your shoulder at that right heel. Come back to center, pull the chin in, and look over the left. And just side to side. Okay, we're gonna have a little fun here. So let's make sure your, your feet are about hip width apart. Back to the feet, nice and strong. Point the toes nice and strongly. Inhale, exhale. You guess that? <laughs> Axle swoop. So we're doing locust variation into seal. Now, if this, if this is not being happy for your back, let's hang out here or just hold our locust. My friends who are rocking and rolling, a few more rocks and rolls. And melt into the ground, forehead onto the backs of the hands, and we sway the hips. 
Explore the breath into the belly. Feet up. Sweaty. Does that feel good? Maybe it doesn't. Come back down. Just keep swaying the hips. The big release for the spine is that belly breath into the mat. That pushes the, the diaphragm up into the lower back. Hands on our shoulders. Come on up. And we'll come into a little ball of a child. And then we'll walk our hands in. And we're going to have our legs nice and wide. So however you want to get there. Come into a wide-legged seat. Let's take a moment. Find some gratitude. When our uh, when our routines get upended and things start to get taken away from us, whether it's our income, our our freedom of movement, uh, our abilities to do certain things, uh, it's really easy to get get negative and. Uh, we're just going to flip the script on, on and focus on what we can do. Because if we focus too much on what we lack, we're, we're giving energy to the things we lack. So if we can bring ourselves to focus on the things that we care about and the things that, we, that, that are in our lives and that we're, we're blessed with, then we, it puts us in a better frame of mind to face all the challenges that come with this kind of unknown and uncertainty. Because life is uncertain and unknown, but we we have we get this we get this routine going, and we think, oh, we're okay. I I, I have control of my life. Life will have a tendency to throw things at you. Is that oh yeah? <laughs> uh, just because that's part of being a material being and having this material experience. Okay, let's uh, let's do some let's let's as we cool down, let's do some stretches. So let's kind of just kind of flop. Let's do our 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 kind of rag doll flop. If you want to get the arms involved, just kind of tick tock. Hmm. Okay, let's take that right hand to the inside of the right leg. Let's roll the left shoulder open, reach up, and we'll take a few little shoulder rolls. Okay, next time that little guy flops back, maybe we can reach around and get the hip. See my hand there? Get the right thigh. Keep the left shoulder rolled open as we lean in toward the right leg. We're not racing to get anywhere. We're just enjoying where the stretch opens us. If you can turn your chin toward the upper shoulder, up toward the ceiling and look up, feel free. Use the right elbow, the right forearm to kind of keep us spiraled. And breathe into those spaces. Hmm. Now let's release the head now. So tuck the chin in, snuggle the right ear close to the right shoulder. Find the stretch by gently swaying the chin from side to side. Let's make sure the left sit bone is staying on the mat. Breathe into the fullness of the stretch. This particular pose is the breath's playground. So let the breath play everywhere. All right, release the right hand. Bring yourself on up. Let's twist in toward the right leg. Look back over your right shoulder. Twist away from the right leg. Look back on the left shoulder. And we'll start our sway again. Okay, next time we come over to the left side now, we're going to bring the hand to the inside of the leg. Use that connection there to help open us up this way. And start opening the right arm. Again, we're doing a lot of shoulder opening. We tend to 
lose some mobility in our shoulders, especially if we're here. And unfortunately, the latest generation is getting that in spades right away. And even my generation, it's so easy to get to be here all the time. Okay, next time we roll back, we're going to take that hand back across and we're going to try to get it over to that thigh. Yeah, does it get there this time? Maybe not. It's okay. We're not symmetrical. We don't need to, we don't need to race to become symmetrical. We'll, we'll turn our chin up toward the sky so we can look there. Hmm. I'm going to sink the right sit bone as much as possible. Mine's popping up. That's okay. We're just going to go get down there. Hmm. Okay, next exhale, we'll turn to face forward and just dip the left ear toward the left shoulder. Try to keep the shoulders stacked, though. And then maneuver the chin until we find the yumminess in our, in our neck muscles, outer right side of the cervical spine. It might require you tucking the chin in because we tend to, same, same thing with our shoulders, we tend to jut our chin out. But let's uh, pull it in. Okay, on our next inhale, we'll come on up, be gentle with the neck, twist away from the leg, look back over the right shoulder, twist into the leg, look back over the left, and let's take a nice forward pull. Just let them kind of squeeze the toes, flex them, try to keep them up to the sky. They, they, they tend to want to come down, but we're, we're trying to get that dynamic um, the dynamic work. Don't use your hands. Just use your musculature of your legs and your hips. Just let, let your hips be where they need to be. So once you get the feet more or less oriented so the toes point up, then just relax the feet. And the next inhale will come on up. Keep the spot. Let's stack the spine as we go. Bring the legs together. We're going to roll on down. Make some circles to the sacrum. How are we for time right now? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you would like to do a shoulder stand after after we say goodbye, feel free to do uh, a shoulder stand. And, and, again, like I think we did it in an earlier live stream. Just let the first half of your shoulder stand be play, like let your legs move, let, uh, explore the different movements. So about eight breaths of playing to about eight breaths of stillness. That's how I, I like to end most of my yoga practices with a, with a nice um, inversion. So if you feel like you want to do that, do that. And the same thing, if you're going to do the inversion uh, here and not do a full shoulder stand, same kind of thing. Set yourself up. Block under the sacrum, whatever height you, you want. Or bolster if you have it, rolled up blanket. And then you can, again, you can play just like we did at the beginning. Let move our legs, move your legs around however you can. Now, if you are in full shoulder stand, make sure you're not looking around at your at your toes, especially if you come up here. You're not looking over there and over there. You're here with a shoulder stand. But I need to get to our clothes or we're going to be here forever. So let's, uh, if you if you do do shoulder stand, make sure you counter with some kind of fish pose. We did quite a few back bendy things, but it's always good to open the throat again before you come in to uh, your closing pose. Shavasana. Push under shoulder stand. And we come on down. If that's if if you have a hard time getting the chest higher than the than the head in fish, stick your stick your rolled blanket under your shoulder blades and hang out there. Okay, so as we close, we'll, we'll release our spine through a twist again. So just like we started, let's get uh, 
Just kind of flow back and forth across the sacrum as we keep the shoulders steady. And when we go over to the right side, you have lots of options how you want to land. Stack knees. Extend one leg. Bend that leg in closer to the chest. Extend the right leg long. Just kind of feel out where your body wants to take this twist. All you really need, the only real guidelines here are like the shoulders, both shoulders on the ground, and most and the weight rested on the outer right hip. And if you feel like you want to move that top leg, that's fine. If you want to look away from that leg, that's fine too. And roll back to center. And rock and roll from side to side. Now, no expectations. We don't have to do the exact same thing on the other side. There's no requirement. If the body wants to do bent legs on this side and straighten its leg on the last side, that's okay. You're getting a twist. Let the breath be a major player in this twist. Creating length and space through, between the vertebrae. And then we exhale, allowing us to move into that space, even if that movement is invisible. One more breath here. And let's come back to center. Let's squeeze our knees into our chest. Maybe make some circles again here. Really, we, we've been going right into our bodies, right into our, our joints. Really feel out what your body wants to do right now. Maybe squeeze the knees in. Nose up to knees. Let your body do whatever it wants to do before going into Shavasana. I'm inviting you into Shavasana to stay for as long as you like. Uh, we're going to finish up the video here. Uh, you don't need me to uh, keep you in your Shavasana because if you want to stay for a half hour, you want to stay for five minutes. Give, give it five minutes. Five minutes is, a, is a, enough time. I know some of you are very go, 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 and, and Shavasana is just really hard. I'm going to take my Shavasana so, uh, to kind of seal in the adventure that we just took. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this yoga experience on live stream. I will be getting uh, a cable that allows me to film live stream on my regular camera with my regular mics. So the sound quality and the image quality should be better later in the week. I still have to kind of work out how to do it. Uh, new new uh, avenues to explore, even though we're keeping close to home. Thank you so much for joining my live stream. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future live stream uh, videos, please give those. Like if you have a certain time that's better for you, I'd like to get as many people who want to uh, participate and, and flow with me through the day. It's kind of something, it's something nice knowing that the other people are, are sharing the experience. Um, but beyond that, have a lovely Shavasana. And beyond that, I hope that there be peace for you, peace for your family and friends, and peace for all of us in the world. Namaste. Because it's live, you get to see me crawl on up here to turn it off. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, yes, I do want to end.